what's up guys so today i am making a mother's day basket i'm just showing you um one of the baskets i've made i think i've made about 30 so far everything i have in this bag i in this basket i did purchase on clearance so i did not pay whole price for anything in this um basket at all except for the loofah um and the water bottle or the cup i didn't show but i did switch it out for something different because i didn't think the pineapple one went with the theme so i did put a different water bottle inside of it but yeah um this is just a box that oh and i paid full price for the um wrapping paper so it's just a box that i wrap with wrapping paper the flaps you know the top flaps to the box i did cut off and one of the flaps I wrapped with wrapping paper to use as a backing. So that is an idea for you guys. If you have an old box, just wrap it with wrapping paper. Use one of the flaps as a backing. And there you have a large box or whatever size box you use. All right, so I am just wrapping it with cellophane. Um, this was from the, the cellophane I'm using is from uh, the Easter collection so I did get it for about 90% off I believe at Walmart but you can get cellophane from anywhere um, or I may have gotten it from Dollar Tree I'm not sure but yeah I'm just wrapping it usually I like to use the gift bags the cellophane bags or the shrink wrap bags but with me using this box and it's so large of course it didn't fit in any of the bags that I have so cell wrap was um the best alternative for me so i am just wrapping it i like i said i usually use bags so i'm not super super good at wrapping it with just the cell wrap but i did a, a pretty good job <laughs> if i do say so myself so yeah i'm just wrapping it and i will um i'm gonna use a I forgot what these are called, but you can get it in a craft section at Walmart or any craft store. And I'm just using it to um, hold the front pieces of the bag together. And then I'm just going to tape the sides of the bag around. So I'm more of a visual person. I'm not sure if you guys are too. It's kind of hard for me to explain what I'm doing. But if you wrap you know like a christmas gift or a birthday gift you kind of using the same concept as if you would use it with like wrapping paper itself so i'm just like folding the sides in and then the little flap that's left over i'm just folding it up now you can cut the access off so you're not you know folding so much over i did not do that but that is an option if you don't want to have so much paper or cello wrap left over on the sides. You can definitely cut that extra off and then tape it, you know, tape it up. So yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully I am showing you guys, you know, well enough what I'm doing. So I'm just going to repeat the same steps to the other side of the gift basket. Yep. And I forgot what that white thing I'm using is called, but what I um, like most about using it 
is so once I taped up the sides, now I can just unwrap, you know, that white thing, pull the cello wrap tight and get it nice and neat. And then I can just wrap it back up. So that's like a temporary hold to hold your bag in place while you tape the sides. And then once you're done with the sides, you can, um, you know, remove that, grip your paper, get it nice and tight, and then just add it back once you're done. All right, so now I am going to make my bow. I'm using the mesh, I think it's called mesh um, decor. Um, I forgot what it's called, y'all, I'm so sorry. But I think it's the mesh decor. I did purchase it from Dollar Tree. This is my first time using it to make a bow and I absolutely loved it. It was easy to work with, it looks nice and full, and I didn't need to use too much. I didn't really show how I made the bow because this is my first time using it, and I was just kind of playing around with it, but I did use it for a couple of the baskets, so in my next video, I can show you guys how I, um, how I made the bow with it. But yeah, I'm gonna use that extra piece of the white thing to wrap around my bow to hold it in place. And then I just cut off the extras and now I'm just fluffing out my bow making it look nice and full nice and pretty and yeah I think it turned out really really nice especially for it to be my first time you know wrapping up a gift box using a cello wrap and using this this type of um, material for the bow for it all being my first time I think it turned out really really nice I have been doing gift baskets for a year now, um, so I'm continuing to learn, grow, you know, try different things, just to kind of, um, you know, step up my gift basket game, and I do like the way this basket came out. If you guys want to see more of a step-by-step, -step, how I fill the items, you know, how I make the bow, then comment down below, and I'll definitely make that video for you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape up any other loose pieces where I see it needs to be, you know, tightened up just to give it a nice, clean, smooth look. All right guys, and there you have it, a beautiful Mother's Day gift basket. I probably spent about no more than five or six dollars for this basket, and I can probably sell it for around 50 to 60. It's nice and full. We have body wash, lotion, a big bear, a loofah, wallet, plugins with two replacements, a hand massager, a loofah, you know, the basket is nice and full, so I can definitely get about $50 to $60, maybe even more for it. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you would like to see next, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!